flight KQ-003 from New York and Captain Joseph Kinuthia was descending into his retirement after flying for 24,000 hours in total in his career as a pilot. The climax of his career was the touchdown at exactly 8.54 a.m. It was a sunny morning as the Dreamliner from New York taxied towards the ramp. Then the plane cut through a water salute with Kenya Airways staff awaiting in anticipation of his last arrival. There was a brief ceremony at the crew center to bid him farewell. I couldn't help. I had to shed a tear because for me it meant that um, this is change, complete change from what I've been used to to new ground for which I'm not quite clear where I'm headed. Captain Kinuthia's retirement coincided with his last flight. Um, on behalf of Kenya Airways Management, on behalf of all the staff who are here, those who are not able to make, to make it as well, Asante Sana for everything. And we will not forget what you have done for us and we'll make sure we, we do you proud. Even from the junior most uh, first officers who are undergoing training, they would look forward to flying with Captain JD, not because he was a laid back guy, no, but he was professional, but also a mentor and a coach while at it. I cannot be prouder to be your daughter in this moment. Thank you for all that you've done. Um, your heart has touched so many people, and I couldn't be prouder. Thank you for taking care of us uh, today and over the years. We thank you and, uh, and we love you so much, and thank you, my <laughs> darling. <laughs> Captain Kinuthia, who was in charge of the historic inaugural Kenya Airways flight to the U.S., was praised as a diligent worker whose work ethics was worth emulating. He has been very accommodating. So when he was selected for the New York flight and I happened to be uh, uh, the manager on the flight, I was more than happy. Uh, he trained me many years ago and now flying with him on the last flight, uh, uh, on his farewell flight, uh, it's quite an honor to be with him and uh, really wish him well uh, in his uh, endeavors as he continues with the career. At least I've done a couple, at least probably around five or six flights and a couple of simulator sessions with him. And uh, I must say uh, he's one of the best trainers we have in the airline. The amount of hours that he has spent in the simulator, that's 16,000 hours in the simulator, which is uh, a lot of hours, having trained over 400 pilots, means that we can still utilize him to keep on training, so we add on to that. The only thing about flying is that uh, you have to work hard from the beginning. You have to work hard as a young person in uh, school. You have to get good grades, because good grades are the ones that are going to be used to, first of all, uh, choose you from among uh, millions of young men who like to, and women who like to fly choose you and say you are the one who deserve the opportunity to fly because of how hard you have worked. Once you've done that, uh, you have to keep on working hard even in flying. I have worked hard from the day I started Kenya Airways to today, today being the last flight, I still had to work hard from New York to Nairobi to make sure that the flight comes as it should be. I had to remove all the feelings, the emotions of this is my last flight and do it like it was my first flight. So after clocking 42 years with Kenya Airways and a total of 24,000 hours flying, Captain Kinuthia may no longer fly commercial planes, but his skills will come in handy when it comes to motivation and training. For KT News, I'm Alex Chamwada at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport.